can we assume and can we have a, a kind of result after your experience in performance and in art that an artist should or could be through his body and and her soul and her body um, could be a kind of um, uh, a live history of his country and of his family I mean do you feel like a very alive part of the history of your country and of your family but those two things in your occasion seems to be one family and story of the country history of the country I mean communism and then you moved to Europe and then is from Germany and then you know all the story of Europe comes out of through your body yeah this is the this is the, the really the, the kind of key to my work because I always felt that the deeper I go to my own life and something that I really experience myself, the more universal I can come to other side. And then uh, even the, when I was uh, working with a piece called Balkan Baroque, you know, it was really to deal with the, with the, this terrible story about war in Yugoslavia, I always try to deal with that through the, my own family. So I interview my mother, my father, and the rat catcher who catched the rats for 35 years of his life uh, in, in, in Belgrade. And it rat catch a story, which is actually almost the end of the piece here too, is the actually key how to see the tragedy, what happened in Yugoslavia. But again, you know, is, is again my mother and father involved in all things. So it's, it's a kind of crazy mixture that my life become actually the, my main team, you know, for the, that I can, you know, uh, tell the story about, about uh, the history of my country, but also how, what about art, you know, art have to have so many layers of understanding, and uh, and that's what I I try to do really. So when you c come end of this piece, you you somehow you come out to the theater, but I'm sure that everybody can think about his own life, not just about my life, because they have to see what 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 is my life, what is going, what is all this about, mm -hmm. what, how I will do if I'm her, you know, mm -hmm. in this way. So it's because I really wanted to have a key to the to the emotions of anybody, you know, who looked this piece. And this very emotional piece, and I, I, was, I was joking to the director of the festival and said, I think we should really uh, distribute Kleenex, you know, that because people are going to cry. <laughs> and people cry, and I cry too, and I'm yeah. trying not to cry because I have such a heavy makeup, it'll be mess, <laughs> and Bobby also we get very angry. But actually, it's, it's extremely emotional. And you know why it's so emotional? Because every single, the, the sentence in this piece is true. It's all based on a real story. Washing machine is a real story. The big nose is a real story. The orthopedic shoes are a big story. The, the, all, the, all this hell of, of my life, of uh, being in hospital is the most happy moment of my life, is true story. And that kind of, the, 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 the reality of, of that is it's important. And also, there's not too many people who want to show something with their shame of, and to show that something that is so intimate they try to hide from others and I expose it and to also to expose your contradictions. I mean, it's so much full of contradictions. So that makes you vulnerable, but at the same time makes you more connected to the, to the public than, than, mm -hmm. than just, you know, creating that kind of image of idol which is not real. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this confessional attitude has to do with uh, the area that you, you are born and I am born to or is a characteristic of yours? What do you believe? I think that's, that in our cases it's very similar. I think there's something about orthodox, there's something about you know emotions and opening the heart. I remember I remember even when I was in, in, in my country I remember I would take the train with somebody absolutely never seen my life and, and in, in, in two hours of the train ride we would tell each other everything. It's, it's like it's something really that's common, you know, that we have so much more. And you go more to Nordic countries, you go to Sweden or you go to, to, to Holland or you go to even to America and you don't know anything about even the, your closest friends because then no, nobody tells you anything. And you feel like constant stranger and you don't have this connection. But we connect with heart, you know, and the, the most of the Nordic and different cultures, they don't. You 
used uh, you and the team. You used the photographs and the material, of the video material. For example, mm -hmm. first picture with uh, you, your parents, and you very young. And the way with animation that you made this smile and then this crying, which is tragedy and comedy together. And then the use of the video in, in the square with the, the, the crowd and too many people in the market. I don't know what is this. But this was not my video at all. This was completely Bob Wilson. It was a Polish uh, flea market mm -hmm. from Poland. <laughs> I don't know where he got this much. Or the elephant in, a, mm -hmm. in, a, in the swimming pool, yes, swimming. Yes. So he took these elements and it's interesting because he could very easily use my video. Mm -hmm. I have so much material, but he really wanted to to, to create something different. So and this is wanted. a very important uh, thing mm -hmm. in the play because he, he is not using your work, but he uses things that reminds your work in a way or exactly. connect the work. It's very interesting, especially that was like this scene, what we called the, the the group scene when everybody's in the front mm -hmm. and they create this kind of strange imagery that you can mm -hmm. connect with uh, with me, but also not. And then this mm -hmm. uh, flea market, the and the people mm -hmm. getting in and in, and, and then the, me coming with this mask, almost like a kabuki theater and the taking off, you know, my own mask mm -hmm. and it's me, that double, you know. Then actually having the story of these two lovers. I want to talk about your relationship with William Defoe on the play. Mm -hmm. And on the stage, I mean, your relationship that we saw yesterday. You, you have a kind of dialogue in a moment, and you are explaining to us and to him uh, your relationship with Ulai. And you say that, okay, we had to walk kilometers. 2,000 kilometers yeah. to say goodbye to say and good we embrace. And he says, and yeah. wow, which is amazing, because he's given another element of this totally. story. Okay, so um, did you know that when you no. were, you didn't. No. I, I remember when we start, it was very interesting because when we start the scene, what happened in the beginning, the Wilson in, in completely have the two separate meeting. So he told me that I should say this this story, which is actually a transcription from the film, exactly what I say in the movie when we met. And he said, you have to tell them very cold and you have to like a shoot just sentences to him with no emotions. And then he instruct him how to deal with that. And I didn't know. So in the first time we had this general rehearsal, it was thousand people audience. When I hear his reactions, I could not, I was insane. You know, I, I really have to hold myself not to burst in complete loving. He could, he could not believe what he was doing. You know, he was saying, he said, you know, and then we meet. And then, you know, he looked at the audience and said, yeah, yeah, simple, simple is good, you know. It's, it's like completely trash me, you know. And then on the end, he said, and then on the end, we are alone, whatever we do, I have to change and I have to turn to the public and trash and say, yeah, baby, you know, sure. Yes. And then kind of change and create this drama and then really destroy the, all this intimacy of that moment, which was so painful for me, uh, w meeting uh, the Ulai on the Chinese wall. And then comes this, this image of this old man singing empathy, mm -hmm. you know, which, you know, is another emotions bring to the peace.
came to MoMA last year and uh, we had the experience of, uh, of the performance and of the show, which was fantastic. We all talk about mm. the, the, the performance, but mm. we don't talk so much about the, the real show, which was amazing. Mm. So uh, we had all the feelings and all the elements and all the informations about the work, the life, the biennial, everything. And yesterday we, we had again that quantity in one hour all the things that we know about you in very small elements like you know like like perfumes you had just a spray of this we had just a, a, a an essence of this yeah, one one line one yeah. sentence one year you exactly. know like that very but you have to know what everything means behind how did you um how did you manage to make the story being uh, understandable for people that they don't know anything for exactly. example young people or somebody yeah. who doesn't know anything about visual art he hates it and and I that's know. why when we, we I, when I start working with you also he said to me you know I don't want you to focus on on, on your work because you know people saw the retrospective in MoMA I just want to focus on your life so take elements out but still you have to know to yeah, that you can make connections and um, where I start working with the dramaturg, uh, Volgan Vince, who is actually was a dramaturg of Husbinder for many years. Mm -hmm. And he came to, um, to my country house in, uh, in New York and we spent quite time looking at the material and putting the text together. So he actually edited so much material to be that even if you don't know, can, you can see as a literature but not as a personal, uh, relating to my work uh, situation. So this, what I was just seeing when the really people from Manchester just come to see, they, they actually react pretty positive, but they react mostly, they see this as a, as, as a text from the book. Mm -hmm. They don't, you know, see the other part. So the more you know about me, the more it's, uh, it's you can connect to the piece. This is what I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the library, you can buy life and death the book, so if the people can read. And so I don't know if they do that, but the definitely art public reacts so much more stronger than the general public because that's exactly the problem. I think. Violent fights between mother and father. Fifty-seven dreams of jumping out. Window. Would you like to talk uh, just a little bit about your mother for for once more time? I mean, uh, that you start the play. But with did that. you hear the sentence, which was not easy to say? Dead of her mother, finally. finally. Of course, <laughs> I was, was thinking the whole night. I was thinking was the same like, for my mother too. <laughs> I was like, but you know, because on the end, it's not that I didn't love my mother, but it was such a heaviness, and then really feeling of release, which you actually very shame to say. Nobody will say that because the people not want to say that, how to be judged. But actually when you say that, really it's, you know, so really? the other, that's why everybody loves because everybody secretly think about their own mothers yeah. if they didn't have a like, good relation with them. But at the same time that we laugh, I can understand that I can feel that when you uh, you come in her position, dressing with this, uh, you know, velvet, black velvet, and this walking, you look hairstyle. like hairstyle. Yeah, hairstyle. But at the same time, I will I will confess you something. You look like Maria Callas that you adore. I know that you adore Maria yeah, Callas. Yeah, yeah. But you, yesterday in the play, I was thinking of her. I mean, I had a, a feeling that there there is something common in in these two lives in a way. And I know that you know that. Yes, Is totally. That right? I love. <laughs> okay. I'm totally adored. So let's come back to your mother. How how were you feeling when you had to take her role and play the work, and then confess, and then go back to your real life? It was a total nightmare when he said to me. <laughs> first, first he presented me this little man with a mustache, and I said, "Why he cast this guy? I have no idea. Who is this guy?" I said, "This is you." I said, me with mustache? And he said, then who am I? I said, you're the mother, of course. And I said, oh my God. <laughs> I remember in Madrid, we rehearsed before for one month and my brother came to see rehearsal. He looked at me and he said, you exact. And I said, I don't know, it was a compliment. <laughs> but he really made the, he simplified the image of my mother in such a, in such a kind of genius way. Basically, it's this finger tapping the finger and, the, you know, the slap in the face and the walk and this extreme strictness about the body position. That was the idea. And the costumes was really important. Uh, it's, it's very interesting that the, the, the person who made the costumes, the Jacques, mm -hmm. is the person who worked with Bob Wilson since close to 35 mm -hmm. years now. He, his mother and father made the all costumes for Maria Callas for Scala. 
every single one. So he has this incredible archive of Maria Callas yeah. costume. So when he was having in mind exactly that when he was making my costume, which I was really happy I with this. No, he's definitely connection with this. And, uh, and you know, I, I um, you know, Maria Callas just died from broken heart and and all this tragedy and dramas in her life her relation to the mother which was really unfortunate mm -hmm. so I had so many connections mm -hmm. and I felt that very and strongly yourself at and to ha they have somebody who really made costumes for colors you know he he actually told me that 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 he's thinking of three costumes who are you know he have the rights on them they're in archive to remade for whatever I'm doing next to make for me because he think that I can wear them the in yeah. very well so that's the thing and then you know you see the makeup the costumes mm -hmm. it's, it's really very exaggerated uh, that makeup artists come from Taiwan mm -hmm. and they work with Bob Wilson very very long time and it's so much of the influence of the really kabuki theater and Japanese because he want to have white canvas and the faces are so white and body paint it takes hours to do this in order that can light be projected in a certain way and that's totally extra I never wear my, in that kind of makeup in my life ever This piece, we, per, we rehearsed one month in Madrid last year. This time, we are two months here in Manchester. We will go to the theater in the morning, 10 o'clock, and we have to rehearse with the complete makeup and, the, and the, the, the dress and the costumes every single day. He will not let us on the stage without being as, as we're going to have the premiere. It's which is incredible because he have he doesn't he doesn't have the he doesn't want to imagine thing. He wanted to see thing right away on the stage. I remember one scene where the Bob Wilson had a yellow pencil and he say he stopped everything and said no he have to have in his hand black. And we have to stop everything because he said okay black pencil we can in one hour later we can have black pencil. No, you have to stop everything that he had this black pencil. And he start his rehearsal with like this, he say thirty percent blue minus 16 green, give me 100% red, just go back to minus three, whatever, you know, full, full fluorescent impact. I mean, it was just the lights, 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 lights. And we have to be in that position, full costumes for hours and hours and hours, mm -hmm. which is like amazingly, you know, difficult. And, uh, and, and then like now, you know, now we are, we are just performing today, tonight is the last day, but I still have to go three o'clock to the, to the theater, even the performance is 7.30, because it takes forever. We have to each time put the makeup, which is extremely complicated. Mm -hmm. Then we have to have the, the costumes, and then you have to have the ch check the light, the sound, and then to be ready for the public. <laughs>